Shalom, you guys. I hope all is well to you, family, my Israelite family, my YouTube family. Um, yes, and those who just watch. I want to come in. I hope all is well with you guys. All of you guys who are my YouTube family and Israelite family. Um, I've been through a little emotional roller coaster this week. Um, some young people, um, one that I went to school with and one was like a year behind uh, me in school, um, passed away. Young ladies. And that was like, wow. First one, uh, she had cancer and, 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 um, the second one was a very dear friend, a sister of mine. Um, this video is tied into my this video that's been requested. Um, what I'm talking about, it is tied into it. Um, so, I just wanted to share a little bit of that. Uh, my dear friend that passed away. It's, it's, it's really been really hard, really hard for a lot of people. A lot of people, she have four children. Uh, one, I think he's like 22, the oldest one, and the youngest is nine, which is a girl look just like her. Um, so it's going to be really hard um, for a lot of people because... Uh, this young lady was so beautiful and so giving of herself and just I am going to do this without crying, okay? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to myself, okay? Um, it's been so hard for me that I just I'm like I can't do Facebook because sometimes I go there and post stuff Sometimes I go down and scroll and get information, you know, that I can share with you guys or I share with my family or people on Facebook. But anyway, um, okay, change it. Apologize. Ebony, can you change that, please? I know you're busy. Apologize, you guys. It's my third time. Um, so... Yeah, so um, we're just trying to get our mind um, focused. Plus, I got something else going on with another uh, family member, sister. Um, so we're just praying and just getting everything, you know. Let me tell you guys, there we're in Jacob's trouble. Um, and if you guys don't know about that, you got to go get in your scriptures. And I have a uh, something I pray here in Psalms 25 22 and it says redeem Israel Yah, out of all his troubles so we're in troubled times that's what's going on now the focus of this video is about herbs I'm gonna come back probably and do another video I keep saying I'm gonna do a video here or there and sometimes I, I get busy or tired and just don't get a chance to do the video so you guys forgive me i am a woman of my word just sometimes i forgot i even forgot about this video i'm doing now and this is about herbs okay this book is backwards um but this is one of my favorite books and it's so colorful and um this is what this is not what helped me get into herbs uh what helped me got into herbs was Adriana. Um, but this is one of my favorite herbal books. She's not the one that helped me get into herbs, uh, but it kind of helped me to start using herbs because I always, always, always loved herbs. I'm just fascinated with herbs. Herbs is like something that I want to just identify as, as soon as I see it somebody asks me how do you start to be how do you become an herbalist so that's what this video is about I talked about my friends and my sisters uh, my 
um, who passed because uh, one of them I begged to help um, but you know what I'm saying um, she wanted to but it's a long story you guys I just don't want to get into that that's personal um, yeah it's amazing how people spread out stuff when people are not there to speak okay I don't want to get into that but um, I always been into herbs I always love herbs um, just doing things the natural way I always been a person that never follows what everybody's doing I just never ever ever been that person in school I'll you know I, just, I don't want to be with the crowd my niece, me and her is the same age. She always wanted, come on, auntie, you know, as we're like, we're four months apart. But anyway, she would always want me to be over with the crowd. But I, this is not who I am. I've never been that type of person. Let me be over here with the nerds and the people that people want to beat up so I can help them. And that's what I always done. But I always was outside the box. I always um, was into herbs. What this has always my, been my question. What did they use back in the days? Not what they're using now, but what did they use back in the days? So that's been always been my question. I don't I want to go to the herb. I want to go to what the scripture says that he has given us herbs or herbs to heal us. And that is what got me into herbs. Um, and now how can you become an herbalist? Do you have to go to school to be an herbalist? Um the first thing you need to do is get you some books or go to the library and check out some books. But I highly recommend that you get you some books. Now, I started this video off so wrong because I should have had some of my books right here. Which I do have some behind me. Um, but, actually you can't see them. But I do have some books. I'll just show you some books that I have here. Um, yeah, I just, I'm saying I probably have about 50 herb, herb books. Um, and, and books is something that I just don't give away, okay? Um, I'm going to show you another favorite book. Um, excuse. Okay. Now, this is one of the books. I've been posting some, um, herbal remedies on Facebook. And some people are like, what book is that? This is one of the books. You can go to the website. Um, gosh. Just type in this author's name. I'm not going to say his name. But it's going to be backwards, you guys. Maybe I'll post it down below. I'll put the website down below. Okay? And I also have the DVD, which is not a very good quality. My baby got the jacket to this, so... I keep it in this book. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite books because he is a, a brother. Um, that's another thing. And he deals with things that, like cashews, he tells you about cashews. He'll tell you about um, catnip. Um, let me, cinnamon, chamomile, um, clove, cocoa, coconut. Um, just natural things that we can get a hold of, okay? And this is why I like this book. Um, female Fern. Y'all ever heard of that? But anyway, see, I just... Oh, that said respiratory. Anyway, I'll get back into this. Um, and here's another book. I'm going to tell you how you can become herbal. And this is how you become herbal. You just learn yourself about the herbs. And then this is another book I like. I like books... That has color. Now this one tells you about eating different herbs you can find in the backyard. Things of that nature. Which is good and fun. I have, I'm telling you, I probably have about 50 books or so on herbs. Uh, but yeah, this is another book. Edible Wild Plants. John... Cal, Callis, uh, he's a doctor, so physician. Um, but anyway, it says it was $24.99, but I don't know how much I paid. This is a very heavy book. Uh, the pictures are beautiful. Pictures, when you are looking for books, 
you want to get the very best quality so you can see the plants and you want a book to tell you like this have about three or four pages on this sheep sorrel so and it tells you how you can prepare how you can store it so this is a very good book to have and how to dry things okay here's another book and this is about florida wild i'm florida edible wild plants um now this book is pretty good um it does have pictures in it it does tell you about certain plants I have like a ton of books over here that I'm doing for school. Now, like I said, this is my favorite book. This book is always my go-to. Well, it actually used to be my, my go-to book for everything. You got headache. You got this. This book is so beautiful, wonderful. I love it. I have another one that is big and that's similar to this. I have books over there, too. And I have books. I have, I have a bookshelf here, big bookshelf. Well, medium sized bookshelf here anyway whatever um i'm gonna get to the, the point of this video but I'm, i want to show you how to go about to get books this is how you can be your own herbalist but this book it tells you about different things in the book this is a book that i highly recommend i did buy this i believe i don't know if i bought this off amazon Anyway, it said it was twenty. I probably bought this from Barnes and Noble. I don't know, but check this book out. This company, period. I just love their color DK. I really love their books. I have another one, like I said, it's a bigger book, um, and it's very similar to this. I will not depart from this book. I mean, it just tells you about simple things. It tells you if it's uh, should you be cautious with it. Um, is it safe? How safe is it? Um, should you use it if you're pregnant? Um, things of that nature. Love this book. Okay, something that I want to check out. Um, now, you can become a herbalist by doing research, going out and experimenting, checking out. Now, when I say experiment, I'm saying going out and identifying plants. And you have to get books uh, to help you to do those things now me i am going to school but i'm doing this the only reason why i'm going to school for this to help anybody the reason why i'm going to school is for our people and for anybody who want to know well what where school you went to you know what i'm saying um that's the only reason why i'm doing the school thing other than that i do not agree with it it's about money and that's it now um there are so many schools out there that you can check out. Um, um, and the thing with being a herbalist, in most states, you cannot like open up your own. Um, let's say you're gonna be a natural natural path or herbalist. Most states you cannot operate like that. You have to work under somebody in somebody else's office, like a chiropractor or massage therapist you know things of that or a psychologist i've seen people work under those people um but those are ways that you can um uh, work but you gotta go check the laws out in your state now you can have your own like um sell your own herbs and things of that nature but you gotta find out the laws and all of that because that is something that i am going to be getting into um, I've uh, given out a lot of herbs to people um, because I want people to get used to and also they can see how herbs look when they're dried um, and hopefully they can identify them and they can see the benefits of, of using herbs. Um, I highly recommend everybody to have, and I'm talking about our Hebrew Israelite, when I say everybody, that's who I'm talking to, okay? Um, and I'm not being racist, okay? I'm just talk to our people, okay? Um, I highly recommend you guys to do research. Get into this herbless herb things to um, help you. Um, I've done herbs for my family. Ebony learned how to make her own tincture on her own. Um, did I tell you or you just... 
You do you remember? Oh, you read it? She read it. So, but she thought she's good with that. But she did it. And I was like, what, girl? You did this? And she was like 15 years old. So that was awesome. Now, what I'm doing with Ezriana, and I got to bump it up a couple notches. Because this little girl is so, like, you know, you think you didn't go over something. And she'll let you know, like, we done this. And she'll tell you what this is for and what that's for. So, yeah, we got to bump it. I got to bump it up with her. And we're going to be working more because we have been on, like, a vacation um, for a couple weeks now. So, we got, I don't want to be completely not doing anything. That is not good. So, how to become a herbalist is to go and get you some books and do some research. You want to get familiar with the herbs. Um, go out um, looking for herbs. You know, go hiking. Just get familiar with the herbs that's growing in your yard. It's very exciting. I love it. I love it. I get excited about it looking for herbs and wondering what is this is for and that that that's something that made me excited other than my family like my family is my first excitement um i'm talking about down here on this earth okay i'm talking about natural stuff um don't get it twist it okay um but anyway i'm being nice <laughs> okay let me stop um do that and if you want to, if, if that makes you excited, then think about checking out some schools and, and not just check out a school and go, but you want to make sure if you're going to go even further that they are certified, that you will be able to, to uh, transfer your credits. So you're going to have to do some research and you're going to probably ask me what um, I'm going to have to, on my other computer, I have this website, which... It's going to be hard for me to pull up, and that's going to be hard. But just Google how to find out um, if a school is accredited, which it is very rare that you're going to find a school that is accredited where you can go to your nearest um, college, you know, like, and say, okay, I, I want to finish up here. You know what I'm saying? Um so, yeah, that's why you can be a herbalist just on your own, just going out, doing the research, getting books. You got to do a lot of reading. You got to do a lot of reading because I was one that was like, oh, Father, I just want to just know the herb when I see it. And he just clearly like, you got to study. Like, works without faith is dead. So you're going to have to get those books and you're going to have to look at them. Not just get them when you need them and look and see what, no. You have to study. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Yeah, that was me. Um, you're going to have to study and get a love for it. Right on YouTube, you can go and find some people. And don't just trust these people on YouTube. Go to other websites and check out uh, pictures and Google the uh, plantain. You probably have it growing in your yard. Dandelion. long as those things have not been sprayed with pesticides or herbicide, whatever those things are, chemicals, okay? Or dog spraying and cat spraying. You know what I'm saying? Um, some people say it's okay if it's by, beside the, the um, like if it's an emergency purpose as far as um, the um, need to survive. Of course, you wouldn't care who sprayed or whatever is on this. You're hungry. Um, because there, like I said, I had books here, edibles, wild plants, wild edible plants. Um. There's a guy called, his channel called Eat the Weeds. He's here on YouTube. Hopefully, I'll be able to post his channel down below. The reason why I said hopefully, because I'm telling you guys, my mind, I am so overloaded with things going on and things I got to go do. And um, Yeah. But um, anyway, I hope this video helps you live, love, life. I think that's your name. If I'm wrong, please forgive me, sister. Please forgive me. Um, anyone can be an herbalist. Um, do you have to go to school to be an herbalist? No, you don't. Um, it's very important that you don't tell people um, when it comes to the government. 
this will heal you. You can't say that, you know, unless you want to pay some money. You can say that it has, you have benefited or there is great benefit. You know, that you got to be careful with how you word things. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that I've learned um, in my first class <laughs> um, about how you word things. Um, and you can say, this is this have helped me, this has helped my friend, or whatever. Just be careful how you word things to people. You know what I'm saying? Even though you know it can do what you know it can do, okay? Herbs are here to heal us, right? So we can, and it's our faith that makes it so, okay? It is my faith. That I believe that the herb that I put in my body, that I give to my family, that it will heal us and my friends and family and so on and so on and so on. Okay? So, yes, you guys. We're doing this. And, like I say, go ahead and do your own research. I don't want to recommend the school. And you might say, well, I don't like the school. And you know what I'm saying? Now, if you want to know what school I go to, then you just private message me. Because I don't want nobody to say, well, I went to school and I don't like it or whatever. Why they doing this? So, you understand what I'm saying? Don't Go do your own research because you, you do have to be careful. And I know I'm just probably just rambling here or whatever. But, um, okay. I'm, I'm be nice. Um, and one thing about, let me say this too. One thing about being a herbalist it causes you to begin to make your own medicines like here in this jar which is not properly labeled at all is there is no label because I know what this is right um, this is not what you do I do have everything all my herbs labels I have all my teachers every all that stuff is in there is labeled but this is not labeled because it's a uh, Sap that I made for Adriana. But it's not just Adriana, but this is a healing sap. And I also made uh, a tooth um, herb that has healed. Did I say heal? I meant to say help. It has benefit. There has been great benefits. Um, yeah. It has really. Where the doctor, the people wanted to know what did you use. And I'm like, herbs. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably be something that I've been putting on the market. Um, the most high, I believe, gave me. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing. If you have tooth, um, gum issues, gum diseases, hit me up. If y'all know somebody, hit me up. And um, we'll talk about it. Okay? Shalom to you guys. And, um... Thank you guys for stopping by. Live love. Please let me know what you're going to do. I would like to know uh, what you're going to do. Um, are you going to go to school or are you just going to go and do some research and see how you feel about it? Go out and do some, um, I don't want to say scavenging, but you want to go out and hunt for some herbs. It is so much fun. And then you can pick it up. One thing I would highly recommend, do not... Take something you're not sure of and put it in your body. Do your research because it can be very identical to something that you think, and then it can be poisonous. And you can you have you can have a, an effect on your body. Okay. There are some poisonous things that you can take, um, but you have to know how to do these things. Okay, so you have to be very careful. Okay, and that's it. That's how you can become a master herbalist because that's, that's what I'm doing mastering this thing shalom thank you guys again for stopping by